So, this is not an easy topic. It's actually a tough topic. It's even tougher to do it after lunch. And it's a tough topic to handle in 10 minutes. So I asked Tiago, what should I talk about? And then he said, oh, just talk about your article. Next, please. So how am I going to do it? Because, next, the more I know about helping startups, the more I know that I don't know. So, oh, there's a clicker and it works, thank you. Okay, so let me start with my article, actually, it's there in the magazine, and this is, I'm going to attempt to turn my article into Suhani. So I'm sharing with you my seven things I learned in the seven years of idea space. Lesson one. The dots all connect. So people wonder, and I, when we started Idea Space, I was wondering, how am I going to do this? I don't know how to run an incubator. I don't know how to run an uh, accelerator. Well, neither any one of us did when we started. And you know, they used to say, oh, an incubator and accelerator should be run by an experienced entrepreneur, somebody who has exited. Who am I? I'm just somebody who has executive support. And um, I, yeah, I started my entrepreneurial journey when I was grade two, when my dad bought me a mechanical um, sharpener. It was just a state-of-the-art sharpener. Of course, in 1975, every kid was sharpening his pencil or her pencil with a manual sharpener. And uh, I remember, I remember that I said, I'm going to get back my dad's 42 peso investment in my mechanical sharpener. And then um, I just computed I need 60 pencils per day, and that will cover all two classrooms of grade two, and uh, I'll get back my capital in one year. <laughs> but my second day, my classmates said, hindi naman matalas yan eh. Sabi ko, oh sige, gusto ko pakita sa'yo, matalas talaga. So I put it on his wrist, and I just, I just put a little pressure, and then he got a scratch. That was the end of my business. <laughs> I was so scared, my God, because it bled. And he said, teacher, Diana. <laughs> so anyway, um, I tried many attempts in my life to, to be an entrepreneur. 20 years after, 1995, my husband and I started a taxi load place. And it didn't work again. And uh, I said, nope, no, nope, I'm just a supporter. I'm probably not somebody out there who will be an entrepreneur. But you know, when, when you start something and you believe in it, and all the people who have helped you through your journey, um, the universe will just make it happen. Fortunately, all the people, because I was in executive support roles, I was an EA, executive assistant to the secretary of DNR, to the president of Motorola, of Mount Semiconductor, to the chairman of Jollibee. So people helped me along the way and thanks to them, they have been a part of idea space as well. So lesson two, start with why. You know, in our third year of idea space, we were doing so many things, people were all over the place, and uh, it was so busy, but the whole team was about to implode. So, a month after the third cohort of Idea Space, so we, we run a cohort and we, uh, we select startups every year through a competition, six out of the 10 were not going to pursue their startup. 
So something was wrong. And so we said, we need to start with why. Why are we doing this ba talaga? Is it really investing in startups? We realized that no. It's not about investing in startups. It's about investing in people. Select the right people and select the right founders and help them through their evolution of becoming a founder. Our third lesson is go all the way. All in and not halfway. Go full time. The founders that we had to take in were full time. The same way with Idea Space. If you don't really have a heart for it, I mean, Idea Space team, if they didn't have a heart for it, then it's, this job is not for you. Lesson four believe. Believe that each one is going to contribute. And after the effort of selecting a team, you have to believe that they will make it. So in the years of really learning how to run an accelerator, I would scan the whole YouTube, read as much from Google, and I particularly like this lady. She's the co-founder of Y Combinator, the wife of Paul Graham. She takes care of all the non-tech stuff of Y Combinator, and I kind of uh, connected with, with her role. And she said, every startup is broken in some way. It's made out of people, so all of us are you're not perfect. So everybody has some brokenness. So some people would say, you know, uh, throughout our journey in idea space, um, some people would say, let's get rid of that startup. They're not, they're not becoming something. Um, just because delayed yung tech nila or nag-awa um, yung team, tanggal na natin yan. So anyway, there really are always difficult situations with startups. And, have, and there are always difficult conversations, but you must always believe that they will evolve and become a better person through the journey. Lesson five. There are no rejects. There are no failures. A startup may fail, but the person is not a failure. Beginning this year, I have not encountered a month where I don't get a call from a president of a company asking me, Diane, do you have somebody there, a startup founder, whose startup didn't work? I ask them, why? Well, I'd like to hire them. Why? Well, my company needs some entrepreneurial thinking. So there are no rejects in, in Idea Space Accelerator, almost, I think, every, actually all of them. All of, all of the startup founders whose startups didn't work are into something, something good, are, are gainfully employed. There's a few of them who are even earning much, much more than other startup founders who are still struggling. So there's no failure, there's no failure in a startup, uh, no failure in a person. All of them are valuable people. Lesson six, be good. Be good because the world is round. The world is round, but stay away and be nice to people. Stay away though from the snakes. Stay away from the backstabbers. And stay away from the self-promoters. <laughs> Lastly, lesson seven. Last year, I came across this concept. 
um, I'm very interested in the, uh, this concept of economic complexity. And part of that is uh, part of the writings of Professor Richard Hausman, uh, Ricardo Hausman, is the concept of a person bite. A person bite is the maximum know-how of a person, the maximum carrying capacity. So if a janitor, if, if a mall has two janitors, you don't talk, there's not two, two person bites, there's only one person bite, because it's the same skill, it's the same job. But if there's, there's a janitor and there's a guard, those are already two person bites. So why is this important? Because in tech, a tech startup, it, most likely, it will most likely have different person bites to, to execute the idea. The concept of person by is easier to explain through an orchestra. And a, tar a startup is like, a tech startup is like a, an orchestra. They all may be tech, like here, they all may be playing a string instrument, but you remove one and it doesn't sound the same. You remove, there are eight cellos, but you remove one cello, it's missing something. The same way with a tech startup. You remove one and something's missing. Okay. So, how do we measure? How do we measure ourselves as a startup accelerator? Do we measure ourselves by the number of jobs that we have created? Do we measure how much money our startups make? No, for us, it's measuring the person bites. This is a portion of a song. Are you familiar with this song? Maybe I should sing it. <laughs> 525,000 minutes, 600 minutes. Those are the minutes in a year. And uh, it's from a song uh, from a Broadway show called Rent. Uh, the last one of the last lines is how do you measure the life of a woman or a man and that's how we measure ourselves how much how many person bites have we brought to the country and maybe this is our way and our contribution to nation building our collaboration our collaborative way of making our country better so the, I close with this plug. If any one of you want to be a startup founder, who want to see how you can evolve and go through the journey, we'll be glad to take a journey with you. You may want to look us up. We're Idea Space, a tech accelerator. Thank you. Good day.